So I'm staying with this native Shipibo man who invited me to Pucallpa when I was in Ecuador. I finally make it to his place. And now he told me he was gonna support me through everything. And now he's asking me for money. And it's not just for my food, it's for his food as well. And so there was some level of dishonesty. And in the end, after three nights, he took me to his uncle's place. He said he was the shaman, but really it was his uncle who was the shaman. And so we get to his uncle's place and the whole family's there, his cousins, everyone. And I start talking to his cousins and saying, look, I'm really thankful to be here and with a native family and everything. And really excited to take part in ayahuasca ceremonies. But this, your cousin who invited me, this family member of yours, he said he was going to pay everything. And he's now asking me for money for my food and for his food as far as I can see. And one of his cousins said, yeah, that's not right. And I had been with them for a few days with the whole family. And so this one cousin says, you know what? I really like how you eat healthy. I like the salads you make and the soups and stuff. And so you make these soups and salads for my family and I'll buy all the fruits and vegetables you want. I will do what my cousin said he would, would do. Don't give him any more money. Don't give him, he's not even a shaman. He's not doing anything for you. And so don't give him anything else. And you can stay here. You're welcome. And you're going to be making salads and healthy food for me and my family. And I'm going to support you and be the bigger man. And I said, awesome. And so we started drinking ayahuasca. I had some very crazy experiences. The second time we drank with the family, I told them the first time wasn't very strong that I they gave me a half a cup and they were all drinking a full cup and I said, give me a full cup. And so they got way stronger ayahuasca and they gave me a full cup to teach me a lesson, I guess. That's what others have told me in the end that this was some kind of a punishment for the gringo saying that the ayahuasca wasn't good or it wasn't strong enough or there wasn't enough. And so they give me this way stronger ayahuasca, a full cup the second night. I essentially die in the experience. I was completely dead. I was rebirthed. And I come out of it and I'm making these these salads and this healthy food for one of the one of the family members and his wife and his children. And he starts telling me, out of everyone here, he tells me that I am the healthiest person, that all these people, and that I'm drinking ayahuasca with intention, I actually appear to be healing. And everyone else, they drink ayahuasca every night. He's been watching it go on for a long time, more than a year. And these same people come every night or almost every night, and they are not healing anything, and they are not doing anything and he starts telling me that they're drug addicts, essentially, and that really I can talk to him if I want. And so I start talking to the the master shaman, which was this uncle, and then there was his nephew. And his nephew was a little bit more open-minded, and he was also a master shaman, right? Just the younger one in the family. And I start telling him about how we're watching TV before drinking ayahuasca. Sometimes as we're drinking ayahuasca, the TV's still on, listening to fearful notices about COVID. People are still talking about taking pharmaceutical drugs. People are drinking soft drinks. People are eating crap. And I ask the whole room of these 10 people, I think it was that night, hey, everyone, how many times you drank ayahuasca? 500 times, 1,000 times, cool. And so what have you healed through all this? What's changed in your life? What has gotten better? Please, one thing. And no one could say a single thing. And so that's when this younger master shaman really saw the point in what I was saying. And he started saying, yeah, shut off the TV, put away your cell phones. Let's actually put some intention into this ceremony. Let's do things the way they're supposed to be done. Because how are we going to heal anyone? if we keep going like this without putting intention into the medicine.